Hi everyone, back again for another reaction video, and this one is for another Western film called The Power of the Dog. Um, this is a new one on Netflix, I think it just came out this year. I don't know much about this. Um, I think all I know is the synopsis, which is a domine domineering rancher responds with m mocking cruelty when his brother brings home a new wife and her son until the unexpected comes to pass. That's pretty much all I know, and it's got a pretty good cast. It's got a uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Kirsten Dunst. I haven't seen her in something for a while. Uh, I think the most recent film I've seen like that's come out was um, Melancholia, which yo that was some. Uh, that's my favorite uh, Lars, Lars von Trier film for sure. I I rather like that film a lot. Um, and then uh, Jesse Plemons. I like Jesse Plemons quite a lot. I'm really growing to like this guy. Uh, he was in a recent horror film called Antlers. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't great though, but it was pretty good. Um, and then he was also in uh, Game Night, which I thought he was amazing in that, and then of course uh, Breaking Bad. But yeah, so there's a pretty good cast here. I quite like Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's a pretty damn good like dramatic actor in parts, and he has good subtleties to his performances too. I think. And uh, yeah, Kirsten Dunst has definitely grown as an actress. I think, you know, in the Spider-Man films she was okay, but I think she really showed her acting ability in um, Melancholia. I thought she was pretty damn good in that. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into this one. I don't really know much else except for that synopsis, pretty much. And, um, so yeah, let's just check this out and see what I think. Ah, oh, New Zealand. New Zealand Film Commission. Okay, that's interesting. This is before World War Two. This time period, okay. I wonder if this was actually filmed in New Zealand then. That's a nice shot from the inside of the house and through the window. It's a beautiful shot and beautiful camera movement. Is he going to appear in this window? Mmm. Very simple um, guitar strings, but I kind of like it. How many years since we took over the rent from the old dead and old lady? Hey, there he is, Jesse Plemons. Ooh, that's really nice. The sun just beaming past the clouds there, and then that wide shot. That's really nice. Wow. 1500 and nothing. That's a long time. Well, not too damn long. I like how this guy's wearing very, like, farmer type clothes, and the other guy's wearing, like, a suit. <laughs> Do you know what they prefer to eat? They like the fried chicken dinner. Some good old KFC. <laughs> Ah, there we go. There's Kirsten Dunst. Hmm. Oh, that's clever, Peter. Mmm. He's very crafty, this so dude. The movie's got a lot of, um, like a very white colour scheme almost to it. Like a very, it's almost kind of dull looking. Or almost like a sepia tone to it. Um, but it's nice though. I'm liking the soundtrack with like the violins as well. Like, yeah, it's cool. I like it. Hmm. I'm liking the lighting in this setting. It's very natural looking, kind of glowing through the, shining through like the doors and windows and stuff. It looks good. Chubby, no nothing, too dumb to get through college. Come on, that's messed up. Fat, so one person in particular. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes, ma'am. Fine. <laughs> he's and he's a bit agitated by him. Look at him. <laughs> oh my God! Look at him gr gritting his teeth. It's really just for wine drips. Oh, you got that, boys? Only for the drip. <laughs> oh, come on, man. That's messed up. Now get us some food. This guy's a bit of a dick. Ignorant. I'll give him that. He's a very ignorant fool. Anyway. Huh. Intricate way to light your cigarette? What the hell? <laughs> He's gonna throw something at him or something. Shut that down or I will! Damn. Oh, 
Oh shit, I do that. <laughs> With a comb. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I like the colour in that shot. The blue and the horizon in the background and then the orange and through the windows there. That's really nice. He definitely seems like an outsider, this guy. Jesse Plemons' character. Some good compositions in this. There's a certain patience to some of the cinematography. I quite like it, actually. Made her cry. She had her ear to the door. Oh, that's the problem, is it? Oh, yeah. Righto. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the light on it, too. They have wine with them. Why doesn't he help her cook? I mean, it probably doesn't know what the fuck he'd be doing, but still, you could ask. Then again, back then, like, you know, it was more seen that women would do the cooking and what have you. It was more rare for a dude to do it, so I guess he'd feel out of line to just, you know, offer to help her. Goodness, I wish Peter were here. He should be serving the salad and... Hey, here we go. He might help. Yeah, here we go. Man, I was wrong. All right. Good job, man. Oh, this is good. No, he's going to help. He's going to help. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Hell yeah, dude. Afternoon. Wow. <laughs> I love that. Afternoon. Looks like I'm the new waiter. <laughs> That was awesome what he just did. I'm liking him. I'm liking Jesse Plemons in this film. He's cool. Remember how the old lady brought those girls out? I feel like these are two people that are very opposite ends of the spectrum. Like, I feel like Jesse Plemons' character is very selfless, while this guy, um, at the moment, is very selfish. Like, they're on completely opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, I feel like that's kind of the... Th the character trait, or almost kind of a theme. I don't know if that's not the right word, but I feel like these two people are definitely on opposite ends of the spectrum. It's a piece of ass you're after, fatso. I'm damn sure you can get it without a license. Like, yeah, he probably is doing it for that reason. He probably does like that woman. But I think as well he is being selfless. He's just, you know, he wants to help. My goodness, I don't know. Yeah. Cooked son. This is Burbank. Come again. We were married Sunday. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? He married that woman already, Kirsten Dunst. Are you kidding me? What? Did I hear that right? That was quick. Hey, you little bitch. Huh? Hey, what did the horse do? Oh my god. It's so mean. Wow, that's a beautiful shot. Look at that. Oh my god. There are some good, um, like, wide shots in this movie. Very nice. Two, three. To the side Sorry, again. I, One. I really three. can't. Of course you can. I really can't dance. <laughs> Change your attitude, man. Of course you can. Three and back. And back. And two, two three. three to the side. Yeah, and then forward. There you go. See? You remember Rose? Oh, hello there. Hello. He seems happy to see her. All day, there's a deed the old gent once sent to him. I like that they haven't actually showed a shot of him yet, like I've got a close up, they're just kind of keeping a certain distance, I like that. Now they're cut, but yeah, that was good. That kind of slow reveal. We had such a nice trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this guy is so up his own ass. it's hilarious. Oh, I love that close-up. That's great. Wow. I really felt like this character, like a certain, 
maybe anxiety he's feeling or a certain tension he felt like he just didn't want them in I don't know I kind of felt something because of that shot hmm. what is he doing what's he got his own little cave <laughs> looks nice and peaceful though which is something I think he doesn't get a lot as peace he's just in his head constantly complaining criticizing which I think is good Whoa. Yeah. Okay, he likes smothering himself in mud. Right, oh. Hey, do your thing, man. Keep talking. Don't Hang on, she looks familiar. The one at the end of the table there. She looks familiar. Yeah, I'm suspecting she's from, um, I really like this actress. She's from, um, Jojo Rabbit and, um, recently, uh, Last Night in Soho. I think she's a great actress. I really like her voice. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not her, but I'm pretty sure that's her. Oh, wow. She's going to close everything up, make sure no one can hear her. Don't you say shit. Leave her alone. Good. Instead of talking shit, I wouldn't be mad then. <laughs> Oh my god. What's gonna do? Play with her? That'd be kinda nice. Alright, don't show off. Calm down. <laughs> He's killing it. <laughs> wow, he was just up playing her to just discourage her from doing it. That was messed up, dude. Look what you've done. You're here. Yes, it's her. Yep. That's her voice. Yep. Wow, she's like just an extra in this movie. Maybe she does have a bit more talking later on, but that was her voice. See, this guy is always smoking in a lot of the scenes. I've realized now. <laughs> I can't seem to remember that one. Oh man. This poor girl. Anything. This is like her and him with he saying he cannot dance and she's like, no, I cannot play. Come on, girl. You can do it. Oh, look at her. Shoulders down. Hand crunched up. She's so afraid. <laughs> I mean, she's got a bigger audience now, so I get it. Come on, you can do it. Oh, my goodness. Sing her fingers like... Oh, man. Come on. Oh, look, he strolls up in now. You didn't play? Oh. Sure did practice. Rub it in her face. Lot. Oh. <laughs> now he's whistling it just to mock her even more, I feel. Oh my god, look at her performance there, like her face. Wow. Yeah, I like her performance in this movie quite a lot too, actually. I feel like she just wants to burst into tears right now. Our gloves! Alvarez, you're not needed. Yo, is she gonna become an alcoholic? Oh no, that's not good. Find yourselves an arrowhead up by the mask. What the hell are they doing? Suck. Oh, that's. What are you doing? So messed up. Oh, oh. oh wait, the rabbit's it's the bunny's not dead. Oh that's cute. Would he kill the rabbit? What'd he do? Shut the door. Oh my god, he fucked the rabbit up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the rabbit definitely does not need the carrot now, that's for sure. I like rabbits. Yes, I do. He's curious about them. Whenever I want to be a surgeon, I have to practice. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. I, I didn't think it was some psychotic thing, but it... Someone, um, I mentioned someone's going to spring him and he's going to be like, oh. Yeah, what did I tell you? This kid's going to spring him. <laughs> Wandering around and then whoop what do we have here? Oh man. I think he'd be pretty mad if 
he sees you there, <laughs> he'll be pretty mad. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Run! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, get get out of there! I kind of like the composition of that, how he's sitting there and the two guys and all those like blanket things. It's kind of like a cool composition to that shot, I feel. Oh, come on. Huh. I love how he just doesn't even pay attention to them. It's great. <laughs> I don't see any Mr. Burbank here. I'm Phil. Ooh. Yes, Mr. Brimming. Come and take a look at this. Hmm. <laughs> you got any? I don't know about this. I feel like he's put on an act or something. Just saw that now. No. Oh. When I first came here, see, it looks like a dog with its jaw wide open. Oh shit! I see that. Oh my god. You just saw that? That's awesome. Yeah. I wonder why it was stars she gave us. Why not diamond? Why not hard? Why are you dumping sugar just... What's he doing? He's riding off somewhere. What's happening? Oh, it's a bit steep. I love how they revealed that. That was cool. You s just saw it from like this close up and then you revealed it. That was cool. What's he gonna... Is he gonna open it up and shit? Ugh. Like maggots and shit in it? That'd be gross. Ugh. I'm getting grossed out by him just putting the gloves on. <laughs> oh well. What's happened with the other guy? Like, George hasn't been shown for a while. It's just been focused on her and the, the young guy, uh, Pete. As a character now, he doesn't seem so um, resentful now. He seems a bit more like driven as a person now, which is good, I think. Hey, Pete, my pal. You gonna help? I like his curiosity to things. Like he just kind of like opens up animals, just picks at things. Like a lot of people just don't do that. They just kind of accept everything as is. But he kind of intricately looks at things and kind of analyzes. I like that. He's got a curiosity to him. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's scared. Look at him, like, breathing fast. What, did the boards land on him? I think it broke his leg. Well, put him out of his misery. It's all right. Did you snap its neck? Well, that's a cool shot. I like the color of that. Phil doesn't want anyone else to have them. Wait till there's a big pile and sets fire to the lot. He'd huh. blow up if they even touched him. Whoa. What's she doing? Just to spite him, she's gonna fucking give him one of the hides. <laughs> she's made a, a massive turn for the worse, I feel like, this character. Just in regards to like, her health, like becoming drunk and everything and everything. She seemed pretty cool at the beginning. It's a damn shame. Is he gonna pay more attention to her now and stop her from having alcohol or help her? The hides are not there. Oh boy. Every goddamn hide is. Oh, she really put her foot into it this time. <laughs> Please take another guy. Stab guy. Oh, I'm liking this circling shot. This is good. This is a good camera movement. <laughs> I'm liking these shots on the hills here. It is giving a somewhat uh, tense, uneasy tone. It's a beautiful location they filmed this on. Like, this is absolutely gorgeous.
I'm still liking these camera movements. These are good. They very kind of fit the dramatic uh, tone and build up that they're kind of going for. Was he your best friend? Yeah, more than that. Oh, okay. Once you look in the weather, turn me and Bronco kept me alive by lying body against body in a bed roll. Mm. Yo, I've never seen him smoke in this film. There you go. I'm going to share the cigarette. <laughs> Pass it back and forth. What's he sleep in the barn? Because he just worked all night? <laughs> so I'm starting to think. I don't think he's ill, he's just tired. Oh no, he is sweaty. Okay. What happened to your hand? Oh, has he got an infection? Don't fall down the stairs now, damn. <laughs> he can, looks like he can barely walk. Ah, <laughs> oh, he did, finished it. Oh, that's good. Ooh. Yeah, that hand looks messed up. Oh, they did this shot earlier. That's cool. Just with a different context to this one. I hope he's okay. Because I've, I've, I've grown to like this guy now. Because I feel like with this kid he's helping, I feel like he's gotten a sense of purpose now. So it kind of... I, I hope he's alright in the long run now. At first, yeah, he was a bit of a dick. But as I said, it was just because I think he had a lack of... Uh, kind of a connection with someone, um, a good friendship, um, and even someone to kind of mentor. I feel like he's kind of mentoring this kid with certain things he knows, and that's given him a sense of purpose, aside from what he really does anyway. That's a beautiful shot, my god. I think they did a shot earlier, but man, that is really nice. I can just imagine Lord of the Rings music playing right now, <laughs> which would be absurd because of the road and a car, but still. Awesome. Are you serious? He... What? Oh, are you serious? He died. What the fuck? Oh, that's a damn shame. I like the lighting once again in this scene, how they're using... making it look like it's outdoor light glowing through. That looks really cool. It kind of reminds me almost of, um... Particularly this part here, the lighting very much reminds me of something out of like a David Fincher movie or something. Anthrax. But he never handled diseased animals. He was particular on that. Mm. Oh, that's a really nice shot. It's a great composition. The lighting's nice. The color. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Beautiful white shot. Even this is a great shot with the kid walking with the dog. And like with the the dirt kind of in the background, the sun glowing, the shadows, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, this is a nice looking film in parts, really nice. Wow, look at that. And then the light from the windows, from the inside is nice. Hmm. Excuse me? That's the end? Wow, I did not expect that ending. Like, just to end like, kind of like that. Like, like the guy's death, it was very abrupt. Just like the ending. Man, I don't know. I liked it. Um, I did like it. It's, it's not bad. Um, I'm gonna have to really think about this one. Well, not really think about it, but I'm gonna have to go through my list of things I like and go through it. I gotta say, on a filmmaking standpoint, I like it quite a lot. I'm not sure what to think about the music. I like the music, I think the music works for the setting, but I don't know if I'll give a, like an actual point to it. Um, maybe on a rewatch. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll kind of reevaluate it on rewatch. Um, nothing wrong with the music, I just kind of feel like it's a little bit... Like I kind of feel like I've heard it before from just other old-timey films. Like I just feel like it doesn't have its own thing to make it stand out enough for me. Um, I think it's still good, but I just don't think it has a moment where I'm like, wow, this is, like, really great. Like, don't get me wrong, it, it does have good effects here and there, but I just don't feel like it stands out enough for me. But that being said, maybe on rewatch, I'll like the soundtrack. Who knows? But anyway, let me just go through the list of things I like, and then I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. 
Um, so just like actually the last Western I watched, The Heart of They Fall, I gave that seven things that I liked about it. Same thing with this movie, um, but for different things, um, very different things, I feel like, for the most part. Um, so yeah, seven things I liked about this one, and uh, so let's just get into it straight away. So the first thing I liked, now, I think in regards to filmmaking, this movie was better, in my opinion, than The Heart of They Fall. In regards to just, like, certain artistic things, I feel like sometimes The Heart of They Fall was good, don't get me wrong, it's very stylized. This movie was a bit more held back, but it was still really good for what they did. Um, maybe it's kind of almost the same, but just with different things in regards to the technical stuff. Maybe they're both technically still really good. Um, but anyway, let's get into this one. So the first thing is camera composition. I think the movie was really well shot. I think this is really nicely filmed. And I'll, and I'll say this one as well, just straight away. So camera composition, and also the second thing is camera movement. So the way the camera just moves around in the scene, it's just... It's got a great um, flow to it. I, I don't know, there's something about the way the camera moves around. It really puts you in the scene. It makes you kind of feel the the kind of atmosphere that they're trying to go for. I, I think the camera composition and movements is really good in the movie. So the next two things I want to say is uh, lighting and color palettes. So this is three and four. Um, I want to particularly talk about the lighting here. It reminded me very much of like a David Fincher film, like in how you kind of can tell where the lighting's coming from. Like either... In this movie, it's not from a lamp, but sometimes from a David Fincher film, you can see like a lamp on a desk or something, and you can tell, or they give that effect that it looks like the light's always coming from just from that lamp. You can kind of get where the light source is coming from. Same thing kind of from this movie, like it's very obvious, um, and it comes through like the, the windows and through the doors, and I really like that, and the kind of um, glow that comes through it, it, it just looks great. I think it's a great look this film has in regards to the lighting. And in regards to the color palette, there's a lot of parts in the film that look very almost kind of black and white to sepia kind of look, and I really like that. It kind of makes that old setting look as well, but it's not completely like that. There is times where it's really beautiful, like at night, there's a couple scenes where they use like blue and orange, that looks really nice. And then later on in the film, it's got that like kind of nice orange glow as well later on in the film, like in those last probably like five minutes, if that. Um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. So I think it's a really beautiful looking film in regards to lighting and color palette. The next thing is something I mentioned throughout the film, and uh, this is number five, the locations used. So, it looks like this movie was filmed in New Zealand, and uh, yeah, it, it, it looks amazing. Um, if it's not filmed in New Zealand, my bad. <laughs> but from what it looks like, it definitely looks like it's made in New Zealand. Because I remember at the beginning of the movie, it said something about uh, something in New Zealand, like a production company or something. So, I'm assuming it was done in New Zealand. But yeah, just those hills in that setting that they're actually in, that farm place, that looks beautiful. But not only that, just like in general, like when they're driving around and stuff, it's just, it's just a beautiful looking film. Um, they really took advantage of the location they were in and yeah, it really pulled off and made it look even more amazing. Okay, so the next thing is number six, which is the acting. I think the performances all around are really good. Standouts for me are Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he's great. Jesse Plemons. And then lastly, Kirsten Dunst. I think she was really good too. There was a few just good bits with her in the film. Um, what's that fella's name? Cody McMiffee? Is that... Wow, what a name. No, kind of... Oh, hang on. Cody Smith M McPhee. Is that legit how you say his name? Oh, I've seen this guy and stuff before. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, I remember him now. Huh. Okay, righto. Okay, so I have seen him in something else before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I kind of remember him in that think? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I liked him in this film. I thought like he pulled off the demeanors and stuff that his character needed to pull off. I think he did that quite well without it seeming obnoxious or like he was trying too hard or having too many ticks that just kind of threw you off. Like I think he pulled off this character rather well. So maybe I should give him more credit where credit's due because yeah, I think he did a pretty good like flawless role in regards to just how he pulled it off. I think he did a really good job. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and actually, the last thing, uh, number seven, is characters. I really like the characters in this film, particularly um, Benedict Cumberbatch's character. Like, at first, you kind of think he's a bit of a dick, and, I mean, he kind of is, but, like, I could get where he was coming from in a sense of, like, I could see it from his point of view. Like, he just seems very much... He's suppressing a certain thing that's in him, like, in regards to just who he is, and he, he can't really express that because of just the time period 
and just, you know, how people would kind of um, perceive him after that fact, and he'd probably get in a lot of trouble. So this is something he has to deal with, and it, it, he lets his frustrations out on others, or someone that also seems different, like that young guy. So I really like that. I, I really like certain aspects of this film, and even just Jesse Plemons' character, I kind of like him too. They kind of do veer away from him at a certain point there, like once you kind of get to a certain point, he becomes very much like a background character, and Kirsten Dunst gets a bit of the stage then, and I liked kind of how they did her character as well, um, I wish they kind of did flesh them out maybe a little bit more, perhaps, um, maybe the movie could have been a bit longer or something, I'm not sure, but like, it's one of those things I felt like, like, certain characters I kind of wish I knew a bit more about, I feel like Benedict Cumberbatch's character and, um, the young guy, I think Benedict Cumberbatch and the young actor, I think they were like, they, they were pretty well fleshed out. I liked their characters probably the most in the end. And then probably Jesse Plemons and then Kirsten Dunn's character last. So in regards, basically how I say best to worst in performances is actually best to worst with the characters, I guess, too. Actually, no, I think the younger guy, I'm actually not sure. I think the younger guy, I should probably rank him higher because... He did a really good job performance-wise. Like he pulled off his character really well. But anyway, that's um that's pretty much it for this video. Like seven things I liked about it. I would not be surprised when I watch this again, which I will. I reckon I'd probably find so many more things to appreciate on second viewing or third viewing. You know, it's just a beautiful looking film. I'll probably notice even more visual things to appreciate. Like. The production design was pretty damn good too. I won't give a point yet to it, but, you know, it was pretty flawless in re that regard too, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. And, hey, if you've watched this video all the way up to this point, consider hitting the subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.